Right, hi there, how are you doing? Um, this week's video is Summertime, which was suggested by Anne, and it's a great tune, a brilliant slow blues tune. Um, one of the one of the wonderful things about it, apart from being generally fabulous, is that it changes. It's a, it's a, it's a really slow four. You just count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the way through. Um, so it's dead cool, dead relaxed, but your chord changes every two counts. So it just goes like this. I'll do the introduction, which is just A minor, E7, A minor, E7. So that's a... A minor, E7, A minor, E7. Yeah. Do you remember that sketch of the jazz club up there, the fast show? It's very much in that sort of vein. Yeah, cool. Um, right. There's a couple of things we can do with the strumming, which we'll talk about in a moment, but for now I just want to do that boom, chuck, you know, light strum, heavy strum, we do it all the time. Boom, chuck, change, boom, chuck, change, boom, chuck, change, boom, and so on. Now I am just going to go through the first verse of it. Now this, um, it's in A minor. There's one or two slightly odd chords, but not really. There is a D minor 7, which is D minor plus your little finger on the fret of the A string. So really, it's a, it's a D minor chord plus a C chord played with the little finger. You know, cross those two together. Um, and also there is E7 augmented fifth, which sounds quite intimidating and formidable. Um, it's written as E7 plus 5. What it is, is your regular E7 chord, then add your little finger to the 3rd fret of the A string, and that's it. It's one of these chords where you're going to have two fingers on the same string, and that's because there's the points of the song, we're going to go one boom chick on E7 augmented 5th, lift your finger and do the same on the E7, we're going to go back and forth between those two chords, you know, so it makes sense to over fret that little thing there. Okay, um, and it's a great bluesy chord that Don't you cry, it's all that really, you know that blue note, it's wonderful, it's a great sound. Okay. Right, so I'm going to go for the first verse. I'm just going to shout out the chords as they come up. Remember, we're changing every two beat, beats, or, in other words, every boom chuck. So that's one, two, three, four. A minor, E7. A minor, E7. A minor, E7. A minor. E7. A minor E7, D minor, A7, D minor, D minor 7, E7, augmented 5th, E7, augmented 5th, A minor, E7, A minor, E7, A minor, E7, A minor, E7, C. A minor, E7, augmented fifth, A minor, E7, A minor, E7. And that's the whole thing, you know, it's going to run round and round and round on that lovely bluesy jazzy chord progression there, you know. Um, now, one of the things, well, hang on, we were boom chicken as we often do, which totally works, um, but I was playing this and there is something you can do to give you a little bit more swing and kind of play across the beat a little bit. And the first chord is going to stay exactly the same in this way. Let's, let's do A minor to E7. The A minor, the first two beats, is going to be boom chick, stay exactly the same. Um, but the E7 the next two beats is going to go across the beat a little bit. 
Let's see if I can remember this. Uh, it's going to go boom, chick, like that. So that's like boom, chick, up, up, or up, down, however you want to do it. I did up, up there, but you could do this. I suppose it's nice if you go boom chick A minor and then up down on E7 because that second down strum will be on the back beat so it'll be a, an accented heavier strum and it'll help drive the rhythm along you know so give that a try anyway we'll just do that for a little while count of four one Two, uh, A minor to E7, one, two, three, four. Now there's a couple of little things that I like to do within that. You can do like boom, chick, up, down. Um, sorry, I completely forgot what those two little things were. Uh, they've just come back to me. The first one is muting the strings just after the A minor chord. So when you've done your big like chuck strum, if you lead. You know, I don't know if you can see that. If you go like that, fan those fingers out, you can strum it, you can strum your chord, but you can also have the flat of your hand ready to damp the strings. And you can do the same on the on the down strum on the E7 chord as well. And yeah, a really nice percussive kind of effect that sort of drives everything along nicely. The other thing, I just did it there, is to throw a little up strum in at the end of the pattern just before you go back to A minor so you can go. Summertime and the living is easy so on and so forth right okay well i hope that's handy um hope to see you on zoom on tuesday at 7 30 i will post the link uh in the whatsapp groups and on facebook and email those people who do email and -da 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 -dee. oh yes i'll also post the song sheet i am using this lovely resource which is from the bytown ukulele um, website which is an absolute fountain of good information I use it all the time so uh, big up to the Bytown ukulele people okay thanks very much see you Tuesday bye now